Michelle and Sheralda. Hey. Between us girls. Hey, between us girls. Y'all know us. Michelle's going to be aggressive right now. I'm just going to let y'all know based on the title of this motherfucking video. Just um, be ready. I'm going to be the quiet, sane one today because I feel like she's next to me and I feel like she's boiling like on the inside and it's starting to, I'm getting hot. Well, okay, so we're going to talk about Ray Carruth. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, he was a Carolina Panthers, right? Yes. Panthers, a player, and I think it was, what, 99? 99. In 1999, he, I guess he was messing with two girls, maybe, mm -hmm. and the second woman ended up pregnant. No, the, the, the main girlfriend. Oh, wait. The she main... was the main girlfriend, oh, I thought. okay. Yeah. Well, she was pregnant, and he had said he did not want any more kids, so he went ahead and put out a hit on her to kill her and the baby. Yeah. Well, the ultimately. unborn baby. Right. Because uh, she was still pregnant. I think, yeah. what was she, like, maybe eight months, seven or eight months, something like that? She was far. She yeah. was, like, ready to go. I think, like, eight months. Yeah. yeah. So he put a hit out on her to take her and the fetus out. And <clears throat> she died. But the child lived. Mm -hmm. And he is disabled. So, Ray Carruth has been in prison, yep. and he is scheduled to release, to release, to be, to be released, released on October 22nd of yeah. this year. So, last week, he says, I guess, he did he write in a letter, or he came out and told someone else? He wrote a full page, no, he wrote a 15 page I'll letter. A 15 page letter. Okay. Full of bullshit. Ding. He wrote a 15-page letter um, to the mother of um, of his ex, I guess, girlfriend, fiance, whatever she was. His ex, the one that's uh, The previous one, because she you know she's no longer with us. She's expired. Right. Um, yeah, very much so. Um, but here's what's odd to me. You wait until a couple of months before your release to reach out to these people. When I distinctively remember watching an interview, because see, I'm addicted to like cases and shit like this. Like I watch the legal, ch I watch all kind of, listen, true TV, all court TV before it's not court TV anymore. It's whatever now, true TV, whatever. Mm -hmm. I am big on watching stuff like that. And I remember several times watching different reports and stuff that they had, even an interview they had with the mother, with the grandmother, right. you know, showing the son nowadays. And this motherfucker has never reached out. The you know, has never visited him in prison. Never. And, but she wants, well, the grandmother was pushing for them to have a relationship, right. which God bless this lady, saintly soul for being able to forgive, forgive, get past this bullshit and, and really just say, you know what? I want this child to have a relationship with his father. Not, I won't, you know, not fuck this dude that, that murdered my, my daughter. daughter. I said murdered, okay. I told y'all she gonna be off the chain. I'm just trying to get my logical thoughts out because she mean, about to I'm go sorry, off. I'm sorry, but this really fucking pisses me off. No, it does. It does. The audacity of you. Oh, but in the letter, sorry guys, that's what I was getting to. I'm, you can go off into a second. In the letter, he stated that he actually wants to gain full custody. Uh, that was a battle that we had in our Facebook group. You guys should join because we have heated topics in there sometimes. But um, it was debate. We were debating back and forth about whether or not he was asking for custody. One person was saying he just wants a relationship with the little boy, and I'm Shit, like, he why can't now? Have a relationship with the child. Exactly. So I feel I feel like this is what really is about to set this one over here off because she's like custody. What the fuck? So uh, I mean, I just feel like, how dare you? The audacity, yeah, yeah. You wanted this boy dead, so dead that you killed his mother. And and low key behind, low key, low key, low key, yeah. but high key about some fucking money, right? About some child support, right? right. So so, mm, okay, right. go ahead. Michelle. But but now you want full custody? You don't think that's gonna cost money? You dumb fuck. I'm well, really you know, honest. he went to jail and he found God like every other fucking prison dude out there. Like no shade to anybody that's been in prison because I got plenty of people in my family. Let's not even pretend. Right. It's not but, even about being in prison. No, it's not. But everybody always finds this great place of healing and all this other stuff to come from once they're in jail because you don't have shit else to do. Right. I get it. <laughs> but 
it still does not absolve you from the fact of right. what you did and sending an apology letter. How about you get with that lady and meet her, meet her face to face and look that woman in her eyes and tell her that you are sorry for killing her child and for right. permanently brain damaging her only grandchild. And then he says something like, I apologize for the loss of your, of daughter. your daughter. Sir, that, sir, that was not no accident, honey. You did that. You planned it. It was way premeditated. And then you're a coward as fuck. You couldn't even do the shit yourself. Pussy bitch. Oh, see, I told y'all. Fucking fight me. Right outside. So, but I feel responsible for everything. But bitch, you should. You kind of paid for it. I was, mean, you definitely did it. You paid the motherfucker. So. Like, how can you say, I feel, no, I am responsible. You're not even owning what you did. Fuck no, you should not get custody of that kid. If it was up to me, you wouldn't even see it. Um, And that's all I'm going to say about that. You sure? I think I'm good. She going to have something else in a minute. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I agree with you 100%. I mean, a lot of people keep talking about forgiveness and stuff like that. And see, here's the thing about forgiveness that I've learned, and we're going to go all serious now. But uh, forgiveness, first of all, is not for the other person. Forgiveness is for you. As a person, the, the person that has to give the forgiveness, it is for you. It is for you to relieve yourself of the burden of, of what's happened. It's for you not to carry that shit around with you right. in life. It's for you not to, you know, life is hard. That's it's for heavy, you not to have, yes, it's, it's not, it's for you to not have such a load or something that that's that large on your shoulders. So whether or not that woman forgave him, two things is her fucking business, right. not his. And secondly, she don't have to give it if she doesn't want to. Right. So I just, man. I mean, I commend her for it because I, I do not. I do. I, I do. Couldn't. Because she had to forgive him in order to be able to do like the interview. And I'm going to find the interview and I'm going to make sure that Michelle puts it in the description here of this video. But I, the, the interview that I saw with this lady was just, and this was some years back. It, it floored me. I said, I can only. I can only strive to spiritually be as strong as this lady right. is because forgiving somebody like that for murder. And then on top of that, that, that was that lady's only child. Right. So you murdered her only child and then you permanently brain damaged because the lady was dying after all the time she had been shot and the, the poor child suffered lack of oxygen. Mm -hmm. See, I told y'all, I watched this shit. The baby suffered lack of oxygen, therefore giving him brain damage, permanent yeah. brain damage. They were able to save his life, but I feel bad because I feel like he does not have, he was not even offered to have the right. full quality of life that he probably would have had. Don't get me started. You know what I think is so interesting is you can't even have an abortion in this country, your own body, without somebody talking shit to you. But there are people who are like, oh, let Raycon have a chance with his son. Bitch, you really? had a chance! Really? Like, yeah, fuck you, dude. You had a chance. And really? you, fucked, you fucked over it. You thought your money had you at a place where, ooh, I'm, I'm holier than thou. Right. I'm higher than, than anybody else. I can pay for shit to go away. Guess what, boo? Your money wasn't that long. Right. Medium-sized money. You had baby money, honey. You, hmm. nuh-uh. You had, listen, hmm. this day and age, listen, that wasn't enough. Hmm. And then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? You're not finna be chasing down street dudes and shit and think that they're not gonna, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this is where it came from. It is what it is. So Okay, because I don't even know the bitch. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's horrible. I just, oh God. I, I don't know that I could do that. She's a wonderful person, like I said. Right. The grandmother, I, I truly commend her for raising this baby, for being strong enough to, mm -hmm. to, to push through after, I'm sure there's plenty of times she wanted to just die because losing your only... Oh, I can't even imagine. And then, I mean, not to say anything about people who are disabled, but that's a lot of work. He needs 24-hour care. And that was about to be my next point. Like, it's just, he will never be able to live by himself. Right. He will never be able to be 100% self-sufficient. And though there are a lot of people out here in the world like that, that is still, she had to carry that burden as well as the burden of losing her only child. Right. right. And, I mean, a lot of people end up that way by accident during childbirth this is somebody did that to him his own dad and now wants to take him and have full custody bitch i wouldn't even want you around he me. doesn't even know don't even him look at no me. i mean he doesn't even know him and that's another that is such a big deal like people right. people that have had family members incarcerated like myself like 
Sometimes when people are gone for a long time, you don't know them anymore. And then for you to be in jail, his this child's entire life, and then now you want to come back and be on some, and never I'm the daddy, you. what's up? Never met. It doesn't work I'm like that. Off. Yeah. Look no, I'm ass. the pap. Yeah. So he never you, even met the child. The child yeah, had, it, I mean, and he had opportunity because you know the grandmother wants them to have a relationship. So she wanted to bring him to meet him in prison and he declined. But now you finna be a full time daddy daycare. Shut the fuck up. And you want full custody. That's some bullshit, man. I, I don't I'm done Look talking. At face. I'm just <laughs> Come fight Michelle outside Sharetta's house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. I, I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I just really feel like he, this motherfucker got some big balls. Oh. I thought he had big balls when he set up the motherfucking hit on the baby mama, but they done got bigger in jail. Like, Nigga, like sit down. the epitome of narcissism. You are a narcissist. Sit and down and be humble. Disgusting. Sit down and be humble. I wonder what his sign is. We should look that up. We should look that up. Hmm. I can properly judge him mm. off of that. Right. No, I'm just joking. I ain't judging nobody. It's not my place. But I'm just saying as a person, I know I'm flawed. I'm human. I I, I, I don't know that I can do that. I don't know. Well, I'm judging him. Oh, this bitch. Okay. So let us know in the comments whether or not you're judging. Are you judging? Are you, ju- are you judging? I might be judging a little bit. I mean, I am because I feel like that is just <clears throat> really wrong. And then you got the gall, the un- unmitigated gall. gall. Okay, Charlamagne. <laughs> Shit. So, yeah, let us know. Check out our show where we do ask people what their zodiac sign is so we can properly stereotype them. Yes, we do. www.betweenusgirlspodcast.com. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>